Oh. We are buddies and we like to play games in the new Bear Buddies. Hello, welcome hey. back to Bear Buddies. Welcome back. We're playing lovely. GTA. Well, I'm Tom's playing GTA. Um, um, yeah, we gave you a lovely tease about this mission. Oh, um, yes. Oh. Reminds me of a, an Oscar winning film I watched recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, called Beethoven's Second. Oh, amazing. Which is the second I, I, of all, all eight Beethoven films. <laughs> eight Beethoven films? Yeah. Why are there eight? I don't know. And they, they didn't call the eighth one Eighthoven, and I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Yeah. That's a shame. Really. A real shame. Oh, dear. Who is that guy? So this is... Uh, Michael's wife's yoga instructor, I think, or tennis instructor, uh, uh, who jumped out the window uh, of Michael's house because they were sleeping together. Oh no! Oh god! Yeah. But I think some of the Beethoven specials are like Christmas, Christmas specials. Like they're not all a yeah. Like there's Be Beethoven's spooky Christmas or whatever. <laughs> the nightmare before Beethoven. Yeah. Um, have uh, we'll see how you like with someone whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hang on, let me look, look up the uh, the Beethoven beat, Hoven, Hoven, uh, surely uh, there's got to be like the, the, the fifth Beethoven film's got to be pretty good, surely. Pull a house down. Oh my god, oh my god, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed the car is actually capable of yeah, doing Yeah, right. It's... <laughs> like, that's not so car. unrealistic. <laughs> there we go. Way. Wow. I mean, quite the revenge uh, plot, though. That's pretty good. So anyway, in uh, Beethoven's second, <laughs> they, go on a, they go on a camping trip. Oh. Uh, to a not a camping trip, sorry, a lake trip, and um, the fourteen-year-old girl who has fallen for a boy at her school, who's a little bit older, is also at the lake. So she goes to a party that he invites her to, which is a bit like this. It's above a lake, but it's on these sort of stilts. So she ties Beethoven, who's a um, Saint Bernard. Yep. To yep, yep, yep. one of the to one of the stilts, okay. um, <laughs> of course. And uh, this Why is a family film, gosh. by the way, as well. Remember, <laughs> and uh, oh, oh, oh. she thinks like she's that. gonna kiss this I'm boy, and uh, he I'm locks her in the bedroom there. and tries to rape her. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> and as she's calling out, sorry to that dog that I just killed. As she's oh, calling no. out, um, Beethoven pulls the house off the fucking mountain. <laughs> <laughs> into the sea. I've killed another dog. Like um, oh god. Yeah. What? Beethoven pulls pulls down a whole fucking house full of children. That's, that's impressive. That is. I, I was just. Uh, I was just reading the uh, synopsis for the first Beethoven movie. Um, yeah. I'm slightly surprised. So in uh, in Beethoven, the Newton family finds and adopts the Saint Bernard. The family, with the exception of the father George, becomes attached to the dog. Meanwhile, a sadistic veterinarian, Dr. Herman oh my God, Barnick, yeah. involved with animal experimentation, is planning to kill Beethoven for yeah, his latest so experiment. This, this guy who's a doctor, because I also watched this film recently, Right. Um, he's experimenting with dogs. Uh, yeah, yeah. And what is he doing with dogs? What he's is he doing? Um, taking experimental pistols and shooting dogs in the head. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? And the is reason that he experimentation wants experimentation or is that just murder? <laughs> the reason he <laughs> the reason he wants Beethoven is because it's this uh, supposed to be this like high caliber gun and he needs a dog with a thick skull to <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> to test the gun on Oh my god. Um, Beethoven bites him in dog. the dick anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> I love it. Okay? Amazing. Ah, God. I, that sounds like a, a, a wild ride. Go and That's watch right. Beethoven. Oh my God, go and watch Beethoven. It has aged well. <laughs> it's aged so well. 92, the original Beethoven. But the first two are on Netflix. Wow, okay, I'm gonna, gonna have to watch it. I have to watch it. Uh, any, any, are you working your way through the series? 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know Brilliant. Where, where are you up to so far? Beethoven's second. Beethoven's third is okay. coming soon, which is a, oh. a, a road trip to Europe. With okay. uh, the same dog, but he accidentally gets in a car with another family because apparently none of the actors wanted to be associated with it after Beethoven's second. So, yeah. Uh, who, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Also, the main guy from uh, Beethoven died recently. Oh, no. Oh, that's sad. I mean, the dog is long dead, but the oh, man sure, died. Sure, sure. You know? Wow. Okay. So I'm looking at the other entries in the series. Beethoven's uh, the the sixth film in Beethoven universe is Beethoven's Big Break. There we go. <laughs> then we, so that's uh, a stray Saint Bernard becomes a movie star. Jesus Christ! That sounds like quality content. Um, the next one is Beethoven's Christmas Adventure, 2011, narrated by John Cleese. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised he would uh, put his name to that fucking hell but I guess uh, maybe he's short on cash yeah and maybe he's also got a really long synopsis as well for some reason um, compared to all the others and uh, the, the last one the, the the final Beethoven film is Be Beethoven's Treasure Trail 2014 oh, wow. after getting fired from a film <laughs> Beethoven begins the long journey home with his trainer Eddie they become stranded in a small coastal town where the beloved canine befriends a young boy who is searching for buried treasure wow there we go wow sounds amazing sounds amazing would you like to uh, hazard a guess the, uh, the the score of, of some of these Beethoven films okay like yeah give me give me a score. film Okay, Beethoven one. Damn, you are. Give me a give me a specific Beethoven yeah, film. But the the the, the, the so first Beethoven man? film, Beethoven one. Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. I think I may have lost me. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 <laughs> hello. Okay, hello. everyone, bear with. We're back. Sorry about that. Hey. Um, yeah, give me a specific Weird. Beethoven film and. Uh, okay, Beethoven one. <laughs> okay. First, Beethoven. 37%. You're not far off. It is apparently, according to Wikipedia, 31%. Oh, okay. Although it has a cinema score of A. Like, I'm not sure... Interesting. Yeah, how that how that works out. Um, a for a terrible movie. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, uh, let's go for base haven 3. Um... Hello. Is this still the number for Lester? Twenty-seven percent. You're asking? not close. Who's asking? You're awful oh, thirteen percent. Mm, still, Even still a, a bit man, way off. Am I still high? You don't You're still high. Good, <laughs> Jesus Christ, six <laughs> percent. It's zero percent. <laughs> oh my God, no way! <laughs> I don't know how it's possible for a film to get zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It is quite difficult. Hello? Uh, it is. Uh, it is possible. Um, I've, I've been what? watching. Uh, I've been watching these films with two friends. Um, my friend Tudge, who uh, really loves the f the films, are like kind of a little bit unironically, <laughs> which is great. Oh, uh, no. And my friend and my friend Holly, who um, is also there watching the films. <laughs> she's, she's not been having such a good time with them, but uh, oh. you know, Beethoven Two is a journey. Wow. Okay. Anyway, okay, sorry. Okay. No, Next you know one. What? Let's go. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up. So the the Wikipedia article that I uh, looked up was was wrong about one of them. So it, it, it actually said that the interesting the uh, the, the, the films that followed, I think Beethoven's Fifth, yeah. did not have any reviews. <laughs> okay. Um, but I've just looked up Beethoven's Fifth, and it does. So let's see, Beethoven. Beethoven. And then hopefully this will just give me a, a, a big list of the Beethoven films. Um, yes, yes, yes. Right, okay, so Beethoven the original is 30% now, uh, not 31%. Okay. My bad. Um, apparently there's a Beethoven film from 1936 that's got 71%. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. hang on. Well, I looked up Beethoven's fifth a minute ago and it... Did, oh, oh, there's an audience score. Right, okay. So, okay, yeah, so it, the, the the fifth onwards don't actually have uh, critic scores. <laughs> Possibly, Seriously, not wow. surprisingly. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, okay. Have a, have a guess what the audience scored Beethoven's Treasure Trail. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm missing a trick here. Beethoven's Treasure Tale. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> well, this is quite difficult because audience scores are sometimes higher. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll, I'll, so, I'll give you some. I'll give you some context. So, Beethoven's third, that scored zero percent uh, on critic scores, yeah. scored twenty four percent on audience scores. Okay, I'm gonna say eighteen percent. It was actually higher on audience. No scores. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty eight percent. Wow. What a time to be alive! <laughs> I mean, yeah, quite. What a what a what a thing to aim for, right? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what is going on in that guy's game? <laughs> yeah, it's like Doom. Jesus Christ! Um, it's, Swine it's, horde. It looks like chickens. Oh no! It's, oh yeah, yeah, it's pigs. Pigs. Wow. That's really interesting. That that was yeah. higher. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe it's better. Who knows? Who knows? Let's let's see what Beethoven's Christmas Adventure gives us. Okay, all right, all right. What's the audience score for Beethoven's Christmas Adventure? Oh, okay. I feel like this might be higher because it's a Christmas film. Oh, go on. Go on. Um, what did the last one get? Twenty-eight. Twenty. It's something like that. I can't remember. Um, okay, I'm gonna go twenty-six percent. He got 11%. Oh! <laughs> That's a disliked film. Okay, all right. Beethoven's Big Break. The sixth film, I guess, in the, in the series. Okay, this one's going to be higher. This one's going to be 24%. Higher than the last wow. one. It was higher. You know what? It was higher. Um, it got 41% on audience Whoa. scores. Whoa! Okay, yeah. okay. It's actually almost uh, almost enjoyed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> almost almost half. Almost enjoyed. Uh, okay, audience score for the original. Now the original got thirty percent critic reviews. What do you reckon the audience score is? Forty-six percent. Thirty-five. I'm, I'm oh, okay. Like it's it's intriguing sort of looking at the audience scores and critic scores because they're sometimes wildly different. Not not so much in uh, in in uh, this case. Um, oh wow! Let's uh, <laughs> let's look at some other classics. Um, you know you know what is always like what I always find strange about uh, Rotten Tomatoes though. Go on go on. Go on. Is that um, Graham Lynham uh, is a transphobe? <laughs> it's true. And we all just let it happen. Yeah yeah yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, how, how does that happen? Yeah, madness. Also, Seagull Facts with Pete. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. The 1999 film, Inspector Gadget. Yes. Uh, oh, share place starts in three minutes. Excellent. Um, you've only got three more minutes of this. Don't worry. <laughs> with, uh, with Matthew Broderick. With Matthew Broderick of, of yeah. 90s fame. Um so, uh, 38% uh, is the... Oh. 38% is the critical score. Oh. Oh. And the audience score is 43%. Interesting. Have you seen this film? I have. I cannot remember it, but I have seen I, it. Yeah, I, I remember vaguely enjoying this film. Um, yeah, I do as well as a kid, but so I, that's all I remember about it. <laughs> it's an hour and 15 minutes long. Oh, sorry, an, an hour and 15 min minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, I was going to say. It's not very long. It's like, that's, that's not particularly long for an animated feature, let alone a, uh, yeah. a, um, uh, a live action feature. Um, it got 21% critic reviews. Oh, okay. And 18% audience reviews. Jesus, he's really had a come down after Lion King, hasn't he, Blasted? Yeah, oh my god. No, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I still can't believe that he was he was Simba. Mad. It's like, I never look yeah. at Simba the same again. You're on a bike! Awesome. <laughs> Dooby dooby doo, -doo. Inspector Simba. Also, and uh, producers, of course. Um, which he was very good in, I thought. Um... Okay, all right. The uh, 
1994 Flintstones movie. Oh, okay. Place your with, bets. with John Goodman. With John Goodman. Did this have Rick Moranis in as well? Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as Barney. Uh, as Barney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It's got some famous... Uh, I think Wilma and stuff, they were uh, fairly she, famous uh, Wilma as well. Wilma was El- Elizabeth Perkins. Um, I'm yeah. not sure what else she's been in. Um, Betty was Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell, yeah. Okay. Uh, Cliff was Kyle McLaughlin. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Flintstones got 30... 32% critical score and 27% audience. No, no, it got higher than that. It got... 31 no yeah okay 32 critical and the audience score was 34 well lower (laughs) Um, so uh, it got 20% critical review (laughs) and uh, it got 24% audience score and with that (laughs) we will wow uh, we will have to uh, leave it for another. We'll see occasion. you next time. Woo! Yeah, for more uh, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> As Pete reads off the scores. <laughs> see you later. Oh, Bye. I just realised you didn't even see what I did because the share oh. play stopped. Oh. oh, well, it was actually quite close to the end of that mission, but okay. fuck it. Um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Goodbye. Guesses for Jingle All The Way. Audience score, 38. Critical score, 56. Audience score, 38. No way! Nice one. Yeah. Wow! What a guess to finish on.